new place. Who this? So yes, I've uh, I, I moved. I moved to a new place. I got um, so that's why there hasn't been more videos. One of my favorite people in the world just put out a new album, and I am fucking head over heels in love with it. So let's uh, let's talk about that. We're going to be talking about the greatest letdown by Straight Line Arrival. Uh, if you guys are aware of what Straight Line Arrival is, you might be thinking, ah, it's more it's more folk punk, more. More sad kid folk punk. Who cares? Who cares about sad kid folk punk? First of all, how dare you? I care about sad kid folk punk. But it's not that. It's very, it's very like emo punk fusion. It's uh, it sounds a lot like just emo punk fusion. There's lots of tracks on this that sound more punky. There's other tracks that sound a lot more emo. There's lots of different kinds of influences in this entire album. You can still hear a lot of uh, of SLAs folk punk roots even though you're using electric instruments it's just such a style switch up from what you know you may be used to with sla i really like the mix they have for this as well like i can hear a lot more of skylar's voice their voice just pushes through the track and through the mix so well uh, that you when you hear it, it's just it's divine it's beautiful uh they you can hear what they're saying they, they have a lot of good thematics in the track um they talk a lot of, you can hear a lot about what they're talking about and a lot of the lyrics, the messages they're trying to put forward. I, I like it a lot. And it reminds me a lot of like dirty, gritty emo punk. That's really the only way I can describe it personally. It has, it has more teeth than emo would normally, but more, 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 more of a eloquent delicacy than a lot of punk. It's also more authentic than a lot of uh, post hardcore would be. So it's not like too gritty and it's not too soft. It's like right in the middle. It has the lyrical honesty of folk punk with the teeth of like a modern album and a modern recording and a mod modern sound for folk punk. I think it's really interesting. And I, 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 I mean, so far from what I've been seeing through all their like pre-orders and stuff, I think they did a fantastic job. Like I love, I love SLA's folk punk stuff. Their previous albums are really good. They hold a lot of really special places in my heart, but this album fits their sound so fucking well. It just, it fits, it makes sense. And I think they did a wonderful job. I, I, I know I keep saying that, but like, it just, it fucking rolled into my brain. Goddamn, like, it's just gold. It's, it, 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 they did a killer job. I think the drums do a really good job of framing the sound of this album together. I think it did a great job of kind of setting forth the groundwork for a lot of this album. The drums, they just, they, they put the framework down for what the rest of the song is gonna sound like and for kind of the parameters of which uh, the album actually gets to be like kind of boxed into in a way. And I love the lyrical themes. It's not as literal as some of uh, SLA's other work, but it's not super wrapped in metaphors. It's like this beautiful little in between where you can definitely you definitely know what Skylar is talking about, but there is a lot of poetry to accent that. And so it's not just like boring literal lyrics, but it's also not just this super pretentious kind of tool-esque lyricism that you see a lot of. The main thing I love, because you guys all know I'm a snob about uh, how albums flow together, like how each song flows together to create this like one album. You, you guys know I'm snobs about that. And I think Straight Line Arrival did a great job with that here. Each song sounds different enough so that you don't think it's just one big song that drones on forever, but it's all like it's all similar enough to where it sounds like they should be together they're like a friends group you know like everyone kind of vibes off of everyone there's there's certain like th things that there's certain songs that set up for other songs and then certain songs that kind of decrease velocity from other songs it's a it's a fucking it's a wonderful marriage of these ideas i just also want to you know i got you know i don't really like shout out certain songs until the end but god the guitar work and so they say is so fucking phenomenal like it reminds me of um always focused by tiny moving parts it's just it's like it's just 
it's not like super super technical but just technical and flourishy enough to where it's it intrigues me but it's not so technical and flourishy that it overtakes songwriting or overtakes the flow of the, of the song at all it just it fits perfectly it's really really nice it's it just it all flows well together and it really accents the track and makes it stick out in the in the rest of the of the album like in all honesty i thought that the greatest arsons was probably going to be one of the their best works and i still think it is but god the, i i was worried about how they were gonna how sla was gonna follow up the greatest arsonist but the greatest letdown is not a letdown ironically <laughs> one of their I think it is honestly one of their best works and I think it's one of the better transitional album pieces I have seen in a long time from a band because usually in that transitional period there's like kind of awkwardness or weirdness but I, I think they really nailed it just from start to finish this album is just a piece of art they started off the album really amazingly set the tone for the album of just like hey this is not what you're used to but this is interesting and this is provocative and I still think it's worth a listen to the ending where it's like this is more what you're used to this is more of what you guys normally would want to hear from us but I hope you still enjoyed the rest of the album it just it sounds it's so fucking good it's just uh, it's just a piece of artwork I I cannot I cannot tell you guys to please 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 give this album more of a chance please give this album a chance so let's uh shout out some of the songs some of my favorite songs off the album right before we give it a score uh the songs i liked were don't look back i'm supposed to playing with knives so they say dystopian downright and back to myself those are probably some of my favorite songs on the album And I'm thinking I'll probably give this a um, probably like a seven and a half or eight. It's really, really good. It is honestly very good. I think one of the only downsides to this album at all, is just that some of the songs didn't quite fit as well as some of the other ones, just with the the vibe where they got they were a little too similar to another track. But that's really it. And even those songs I still enjoyed. They just it just with like a if I could, I could listen to all of these songs on a shuffle easily but if I'm listening straight through the album some of those songs might make me want to skip them I don't even know if I would though honestly but that's probably my only thing that I'm like really really against with this album I think this album is fucking amazing and help more people hear it um so yeah that's the rest of my review it's my cat Sybil she's a good baby she's a very very good baby um I hope you guys have a good rest of your day um, if you guys like the video, uh, recommend subscribing, looking through some of my back catalog, you guys might like, uh, some of the stuff you find there. Uh, I also have a podcast where I play Dungeons and Dragons with some of my friends. It's kind of on and off right now because of, uh, COVID concerns and stuff. We're trying to set up playing over discord and stuff. So you might be seeing more of that soon. Um, although I also live with half of the party, so we might just do some one shot stuff. Who knows follow me on social media if you want to i just kind of tweet whatever the fuck i want to tweet sometimes it's about video games sometimes it's about music you know it'd be like that so anyways have a great rest of your day i hope you discover some new music today and yeah goodbye